<laughs> so this is a thing that's happening. Shadow versus Mewtwo. This is an actually a pretty odd battle because I, I figured that if Mewtwo would fight any Sonic character, it would be Silver because of the psychic abilities and whatnot. But I guess Shadow does kind of make sense because they're both like genetically made or something. They're both meant to be like ultimate life forms. Mewtwo supposedly being the strongest Pokemon to ever exist. And of course, I'm Shadow, the ultimate life form. Yes, I am Shadow. Woo! Chaos control! That sort of thing. <laughs> so who do I think is going to win? Well, if you look at both of the characters, they're both kind of pretty much different when it comes to their feats and strengths and abilities and all that. Mewtwo has more legitimate feats that, have, that you can actually see and look at, obviously. But Shadow's... Shadow doesn't actually. Shadow actually doesn't have that many feats. Most of them just come from scaling to Sonic. He's like the Vegeta. He really is the Vegeta of the Sonic series. Like Vegeta barely has anything except punching some guys. He only scales to Goku because he has no feats of his own. And that's how Shadow is with Sonic. I mean, the most I can think of Shadow actually doing is uh, teleporting that giant meteor at the end of Shadow the Hedgehog. But it depends on what shadow they're going with. Are they going with the original Adventure 2 shadow? Or are they going with, like, the clone that has no memories, like, from Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic Heroes, and later on? Because the Adventure 2 shadow died, I believe. I think. I, I'm i kind of fuzzy on my Sonic lore, because... I mean, I researched Sonic recently because I had the Mario and Sonic episode, and I used to be a huge Sonic fan, but I haven't been that into Sonic recently at all. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our that's that's what I thought on Shadow. Like I don't know what he can really do, like feet wise, because all he has is that asteroid teleporting thing that I can think of. While Mewtwo has much more visual proof of his stats and feats that you can see. Like let's take Shadow Mewtwo from Pokin for example. Have you seen his ultimate move there? He gets like this giant black ball and covers the entire earth with it when he hits the ground with it. It's insane. So if they if they use Shadow Mewtwo, it's basically over for Shadow, but I don't know if they will or not because Shadow Mewtwo is from Pokin, which is a spin-off title. So this is a pretty odd matchup because scaling-wise, if you scale Shadow to Sonic, then yeah, I guess he'd be a decent matchup for Mewtwo. They'd be around the same stats and all that. So, I really don't know. I mean, I feel like Mewtwo would come out on top. But Shadow lost last time he was on. So he might win this time. Like Batman did when he lost and then came back. But Charizard also lost and came back to lose again. Same with Goku. And, uh... Someone else that I can't remember. <laughs> I, it left my memory. But, yeah, that, those are my thoughts. Mewtwo, I think Mewtwo's gonna win. Hopefully he will. <laughs> but, they could follow the whole shadow pattern, or pattern of characters coming back and then winning, even though they lost before. There's not really a pattern there, because it's been broken several times, but who knows? I'm just rambling now. You know my predictions. I think Mewtwo's gonna win. I could be wrong again like last time. But who knows? See ya.